Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm making this video as a last second update. I want you all to know as well, there will be a CSGO News episode either out later today or within 24 hours of this upload. This is gonna be a very partial upload, kind of off the cup upload. If you guys like these kind of videos, please leave a comment down below. Obviously in response to Valve's most recent ruling in the E-League Major coming up in a couple weeks here at Boston, and they have now announced they'll be removing Tyloo stickers as Tyloo did forfeit their spot to Flash Gaming. Flash Gaming, the third place Asia Minor team behind uh, those two first, place, first and second place Asia Minor finishers. and. Uh, Yes, they will indeed actually have their stickers replacing Ty Lu stickers, and that means for all three current capsules, those capsules have been renamed. I'll show you guys quickly on screen what those three capsules are. It is now official. Ty Lu stickers have been pulled from all of those capsules, and all of the current Ty Lu stickers that were open will stay in the game, but they have now been replaced in the capsules by Flash Gaming. So if you guys have been lucky enough to open a Ty Lu sticker, they have now super inflated, hyper inflated to above $10. They were recently earlier today when I first recorded my news video this morning, they were about $1.10 or maybe a dollar 20 at its high point they have now skyrocketed 10 times that alongside that guys we have hollows and foils which are out of the out of this world honestly they could be more rare than the eye by power stickers although in a kind of hyper inflated way i want you all to know I, i'm deeply apologetic and very sorry for all of you guys who i advised not to buy these stickers my personal thought was valve would take the high road here and decide to leave tyloo stickers in and give that sticker money to flash gaming i also thought that flash gaming would not submit their artwork on time and elite would deny the request Although I did mention it, it was definitely possible that Flash Gaming would have stickers, but it was a far-fetched chance, and that chance has come true. So now we have Flash Gaming stickers will be coming to the E-League to e Major. I'm actually very excited for that. I think Flash Gaming, um, according to my friend Raffle Monster, is going to have they're going to have some very cool stickers, and those will also be very heavily sought after. But due to the Chinese market, we really look at this in a, kind of an outside perspective. Due to the, in, the onslaught and, of course, the incoming Chinese market earlier this year, uh, or I guess earlier last year, now 2017, well, of course, the new ch influx of Chinese users, these Tyloo stickers are going to be in heavy demand, and I do expect the prices to continue going up before they stagnate. And again, I cannot apologize enough. I really thought my prediction would be correct on this, guys. And for all of you who did buy Tyloo stickers, I know a lot of you actually were buying stickers, even though I said not to, or at least you're being very careful in doing so. Congratulations, you've all made at least your money back and probably, you know, at least double your money on some of those stickers as well. So congratulations guys, the Tyloo stickers have now been put in the game. I have now been let down consecutively many times by Valve and they have, in my mind, made the wrong decision here. Now, please leave a comment down below what you guys think Valve should have done. In my own opinion, I think Valve should have left the Tyloo stickers in the game, decided to deny the request for Flash Gaming stickers, and instead the Tyloo sticker money would have actually gone to Flash Gaming and they just wouldn't have had stickers this major. But of course, I completely understand why E-League would want to have the Flash Gaming stickers as well. It means more money for them and of course for Valve as well as the teams it's just it, there's so many things that could have happened and this was the thing in my mind this is a scenario in my mind which was the most far-fetched and the most unlikely and it just happened to happen so there will be Tyloo stickers there will be flash gaming stickers but as of right now and for, for the future from here on out there will be no more Tyloo stickers in any caps, capsules out there uh, the only Tyloo stickers in the game will be the ones that were already opened so congrats to all of you guys who opened the rare foils out there uh, I think currently of me recording this there are less than 15 on the market so they could be going for some very high prices this will not replace the I buy power sticker there will not be enough demand of that and my overall point was actually expressed in this tweet on screen I don't think Ty Lu deserves to have stickers but if they were to have stickers they need to be to the point where they're actually not worth that much money I don't think it's it just it kind of it sucks to see this much prestige this much price put around a team and their stickers when they weren't even in the major qualifier or the major ever we now have a major sticker and a major qualifier sticker out there for a team who will never play in a major qualifier at least not and might not this major itself who have never been there ever and they get a sticker that's now worth more than any other sticker out there in previous history for majors besides a couple it's sad to see that such a subpar team from the Asian Minor has a sticker that's worth so much but I can't really blame all of you guys for investing and trying to make your money off of it just disappointed ever since you know we've had announcements like UI Panorama the R8 and the Negev updates that never have come new maps new game modes have yet to come as well uh, a lot of disappointments that, that so far throughout, I guess, early 2018, throughout late 2017 for me from Valve. And yet again, I think they made the wrong decision. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, I really do apologize again, and I will see you guys all later tonight or maybe tomorrow. So thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye. But honestly, the one thing that really makes me mad is I didn't see this coming. I didn't invest anything. I had I did not buy a single Tyloo sticker, foil, hollow, or regular. And you could have made a lot of money doing this. I had friends out there who have made 
literally thousands of dollars doing this. The one recollecting thought though, for all you investors, I will have a video based off, you know, actually I'm going to include this information of course to change my major investing strategy. There are actually now four capsules. So there were the three previous, there is now an additional capsule with the flash gaming stickers. So you can actually still get the autograph player stickers for Tyloo Gaming. So the only stickers you can no longer get though are the Tyloo team stickers, although Tyloo player stickers are still in the game and the flash gaming has actually made a brand new capsule of itself. It's very kind of, it's not too confusing, but there are now four capsules guys and this should only help us though when it comes time to actually buy those capsules when they're 25 cents a piece. This should actually help spread the demand and hopefully some of those capsules will be worth more than others and that should make us some more money in the long run. So that's the one kind of recollecting thought. Hope you guys all enjoy. I will see you all tomorrow and god dang Val.